Welcome to MonroeMotors.com. Here we have a 2021 Ford Mustang Shelby GT500 Coupe. This one is painted in carbonized gray, which is kind of a unique color. You don't see many uh, Shelbys in this color. Uh, let's move to the rear of the vehicle here. So we got the nice clean and tidy trunk lid here. Here's your trunk bay itself. You can see it's got the nice deep trunk uh, for the Mustang. So you can fit quite a bit of items in here. Uh, right here, this will come with the car. It's kind of a, a trophy uh, to put on your desk for the, for the Shelby. Looks really cool. Uh, underneath here, we got the tire inflator. You can see it's still in the plastic, never been used. Uh, we got the B&O sound system in this car. So it's got the, uh, the subwoofer in the trunk, and that is a factory option. Go ahead and close the trunk right now. I'll zoom in up here. You can see that, that beautiful paint there. It's got the uh, shark tail antenna up top there. Kind of a monotone uh, with no stripes and then we have the uh, rear spoiler in black that's unique for the gt500 then we got the blacked out deck lid there looks really cool we got the cobra snake and we got you can see just above that there's the camera below that we have the exhaust with the uh, rear diffuser down there for the gt500s and we got four and a half inch tips on this car uh, with the uh, active exhaust and man does this exhaust sound great on this car with all that motor. Let's move to the uh, wheels now. You can see it uh, has the Michelin tires all the way around it. Uh, we have for tire size a 31530ZR20 in the rear. Uh, then we got the black rims, uh, the five open spoke design, and we got uh, large, large brakes, uh, disc brakes. Uh, red brake bright red brake calipers they are brembos and you can see how large they are that's for the rear so naturally the front are even going to be larger so let's check check those out you can see how massive those brakes are probably the largest brakes you've ever seen on a mustang and those calipers are massive as well six piston brembos in the front there uh, michelin tires all the way around they are staggered uh, for tire size for the front we have a a 30530 ZR20. Coming to the interior, it has the black interior. So you can see the door panel is black. Uh, unique for the Shelby's are these stripes here. It's got the nice gray stitching as well. You got power locks, power windows, and you got a nice kind of a brushed finish there with all the speaker grills all over this car. Let's take a look at the rear seat. You can see how nice it is back here. It's, it's got the Elkantaran inserts there with the leather surround with all the gray stitching seats look like brand new back here go ahead and move that seat back and we'll take a look at the dash now let's take a see nice and clean uh there's a unique uh placard there that come with all the gt500s so it has a unique ch chassis model that they put there let's open the glove compartment here so you can see it has the books still wrapped up check out those door jams here nice and clean and then we got carpeted floor mats here and then we have the Recaro seat so that's an upgrade so nice sport seat so let's scan the condition here so you can see the bolsters here and again the Alcantara in, in center there the leather surround and look at these race seats with the Cobra uh, embroidered right back there very cool looking seat close that door Check out that rear spoiler here. I love the profile of it. It has a really unique design and I'm sure it is functional. Know why these tires are back here. Again, you can see those seats poking out there. We got the blacked out mirrors and we got the Shelby ground effects there. And there's that snake on the side. I'll show you got a Cobra. Coming to the front, we got the unique Shelby uh, front spoiler, so it says Shelby right there and kind of engraved. We got the blacked out grill with the Shelby snake there, and it says GT500 right in the, in the grill there. We got the high intensity headlights there, and we have the hood open here. Let's take a look underneath here. So it has a nice, unique hood scoop. We'll let's see from the other side. This tray will be can be removed if you want to take it out and let some more air release. And then here's your heart of the car. So it's a 5.2 liter V8 with a huge supercharger making 760 horsepower. 
and I love that huge snake right on that supercharger there. And you can see it's hand built uh, in Romeo niche line by this person right there and it's engraved. Nice clean engine made as you can see here. And then this car is completely factory, so stock as Shelby intended it to be. You can see it has the carbon composite here as the GT500s have. Let's go ahead and close the uh, hood now. And all GT500 have uh, a seven speed dual clutch automatic. We've got hood pins on here. Here's your unique grill there. So let's just come around here. You can see the inlets. And man, does it ever look cool from the interior of the car when you're driving this thing. Paint looks wonderful. And let's come to the front wheel here. You can see it's in great condition. Still can't get over how big those brakes are. It's just a, it's a performance car. Uh, really a track car, but it does have really good road manners, I must say. I've, I've driven a few of these and they, they behave if, if you make them behave. Um, here's your nice uh, stripes there with the stitching. Again, you got power locks, you got power mirrors and power windows here. Let's take a look at the dash from this side. Door jams, nice and clean. And that rear seat we already saw. Here's your pedals down there. Carpeted floor mats and those Recaro seats. Let's just zoom out here so you can see how cool they look. And they just wrap right around you. Here's your condition of the seat. They are brand new. Love how it says Recaro embroidered there. And again, that Shelby Snake and a really cool design. Okay, let's hop in the car. We got the blind spot monitor. You can see right there in the symbol on that white car there. So that'll light up if something's in your blind spot. You got your uh, headlight functions here, trunk release here. You got a spare compartment here. Uh, we have manual tilt, wheel, and telescopic. And then coming to the wheel here. So you got your uh, turn signals here. You got paddle shifters here. Uh, you got your stereo controls here cruise control settings here. You got suspension and steering functions here. On this side here, we got nav. Um, and we got your Cobra, so that takes your performance and music. Uh, arrow keys for your digital dash and your voice command here. Over here, we have upshift here and windshield wipers over here. Go ahead and start the car. Push button start. Here's your button. push button here. And man, when this thing starts, you know it starts. Let's zoom back out here. You can see that steering wheel. So it's an Alcantara steering wheel. Love that race inspired look. It's got the nice center point here, the nice bump outs here, three spoke design. And you got that big Cobra right in the center of the, and the horn button here. Zoom into the dash, it's a full digital dash here. As you can see, it's got 11,111 miles on this car. So that's miles. Uh, I'm gonna hit the snake. So this button here, so let's take takes us to your performance pages so you got my mode track apps performance shift indicator you can change your gauges your exhaust mode so you can make it let's just go in there so you got quiet normal sport or track right now it's on normal let's open it in track okay track mode cluster appearance my color and let's uh, check out the suspension so you can go normal sport or normal uh, steering with we'll that button here sport steering comfort steering or normal steering so very cool electronic steering uh, up here we got the universal garage door opener uh, we have our mapping lights here we got a rear view mirror here and then here's your dash itself so it's got of course it's a performance uh, package so you got your gauges in the, in the center here so your oil pressure and oil temp here with the two nice gauges here circular gauges and then coming down here we have the eight inch or I believe it's an eight inch touch screen. Uh, so let's just check all this stuff out here. So you got your audio here, uh, climate control. So it's dual zone climate control. Here's your phone commands here. It's got factory nav in the car. Here's your apps and all the settings here. So it's got navigation as I showed you. Ford pass valet. So all kinds of fun features there. Just below here, we got your stereo controls. I mean, you your, your climate controls just below that. Uh, I love these toggle switches on the Mustangs. Push button start here. Here's your hazards. 
your traction control, and you can use your exhaust mode here, and then this mode here uh, changes on the dash there. We got a 12 volt socket here, USB slot here, and a nice little compartment here. Here's your transmission. So again, it's a seven speed dual clutch automatic. It's a nice dial. If you want to shift manually with those paddles, you can use that M mode there. Electronic parking brake. And we got two cup holders here. We got that nice race design here. And then we got a console cover here with a stitching right in the center. Let's open that up. So you can see it's got a 12 volt socket here and a USB slot. All right, let's open the door here. I'm going to turn those headlights on. And give it a couple revs. I love the sound of this thing. <laughs> there we go. Open exhaust right there. And just for fun, let's put it in quiet mode. So it can behave if you'd like it to. But let's put it back in the, in the sport mode there. All right, let's move our way to the front to show you those headlights. It's got a great stance to it. Those headlights on. How great did that car look? Wow, this is like the ultimate Mustang. You'd be the king of the hill if you went driving around the track with this. Just down below, it's got the uh, race stripe there in black. You can see it's got that uh, side skirts there that are factory. Let's make our way to the rear. It's got the heli pieces, a bunch of tail lights. Listen to this car at idle.